Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. So, here we are. The premiere. How to Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, 7 o'clock, different subject. Tonight, we're going to be doing clouds. So, I'm going to teach you all how to paint clouds. The way I know how to paint them. Um, so, we'll get that taken care of. Um, everybody was saying, how do you do this? How do you do that? I noticed it on all the groups. I was like, well, I could show you. So, tonight is clouds. I forgot what next week is. Say hello. So, tonight we're going to, we're not doing an actual painting. We're just going to be practicing. Hey, 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 Lisa. I know, totally forever. Hello. So, let's say hi to the Butters. Get him out of the way because he might be chiming in. Say hi, Butters. Say hi, buddy. Hi to your fans. Good boy. So, that's my good boy, and uh, <laughs> we'll get this thing rocking and rolling. So, I just wanted to show you for Friday, I just posted the event. That's at 7 o'clock, too. All of my events are free to watch. Gratuities appreciated. Fridays are going to be paintings. Tuesdays are going to be how, how to. Isn't he cute? I know. He's my baby. So, for Friday, we're going to be painting a winter peach. Hi, Jen. How you doing, love? Hello, hello. So that is for Friday. I also wanted to tell you guys, give you a heads up. Hello, hello, Jen. Welcome to the family. I also wanted to give you guys a heads up because, you know, when we're practicing, we don't necessarily need to use a new canvas. Um, you could reuse a lot of your old canvases. Um, you just put a thin layer of gesso on top of them. So just a couple of thin coats of gesso, because gesso is more affordable than buying white paint. And you'll be able to reuse your canvases. I wouldn't do a gesso layers more than twice on a canvas, though, because then it could start getting too thick, and it might crack or peel. So if you're going to be layering over a painting you didn't like, or maybe practice you were doing, just do a thin coat of gesso. And if you don't know what gesso is, you go into a store and say, I need gesso, they'll know what you're talking about. Okay, so it's more affordable than painting with actual paint white over your older paintings. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you is, hi Susie, is um, they have a thing they sell called canvas pads. This is actually regular canvas that's been primed and it comes in a pad. See, it's all different sheets of pad paper. Mine's a little banged up, but... That's what it's in. So, and it usually comes on a hard back. So, what you do with this is you can buy it by the pad. And then what I do, <laughs> Allison, they were clueless when you asked for it. That's hysterical. Well, it's J, it's G E S S O, and um, it'll be in the painting section. Usually, it's on a bottom shelf somewhere. So it's G E S S O. Hello, Rini. I hope I'm saying that right. Hi, Allison. Hey, Susie. Hey, Jen. Lisa's here. Lisa can answer a lot of your questions. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Karen. Hello. Hello, hello. So if you have one of these pads, basically what I do is I just take some painter's tape and I paint, the, I tape the corners down and I tape the corners down to where I can put the pad, since it has a hard back, onto my easel. So that is the, the clue with that. So you could turn around and you can get yourself one of these pads if you like to. Because it gets to be a little more affordable. And you just tape the corners with some painter's tape since it's already on a hard back. Hiya Dawn. Hello everybody. Hi. I got all these new faces tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Hey Terry. Hello guys. Wow, such new faces. So um, if you're practicing along with me, I use the same colors every paint party. So I'm going to try to incorporate all those tonight. It's going to be black, white, yellow, red, and blue. All right, so pour your paint and we'll get started. Uh, it's same brushes for every party with me, but tonight we're going to be using, uh, I call this one big boy. He's a one inch flat. I have uh, what I call fluffies. I have a large and a medium tonight. They're just an old, beat-up, bristly brush. That's all. As long as you have something old, beat-up, that kind of has the bristles going in every direction, you'll be fine. And this is just the medium-sized one. Same thing. So cool. 
All right, I'm going to show you a little bit with fan brushes today. I've never pulled these out before in my parties because I keep it simple. But this is what a fan brush is. It actually just goes out. The bristles go out and make a fan like, oh, Lord, it's so hot in here. All right, so I have two different sizes. We're going to play with those. And some of you ladies did actually ask me for a palette knife. So I have this palette knife, this shape in my hand tonight. I, I actually own three of them, but this one is usually the most advantageous to work with. All right, so that's your weapons this evening. My name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. I totally forgot to introduce myself. Whoops! <laughs> Got the dog. Forgot me. <laughs> all right. I'm going to pour my paint and uh, all you guys say hello, 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 okay? Hi, guys. So glad you're here with me. We'll get started. Uh, I'll get started showing you what to do in a minute. Get your stuff together. Yes, you got some metal ones now, Lisa. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So... Let me put my camera up so where you guys can see what I'm going to be doing. Make sure you can see my whole canvas. There we go. And I am going to pour my paint. I am excited too. I am so excited. So, so, so excited. So we have Lisa and Jen. I'm taking my notes. I take notes, guys, because I can't remember names for nothing. I have CRS, and this is kid-friendly, so you guys try to figure out what CRS is. I can't let you know. <laughs> that is too hysterical that Joanne's had no idea what you were talking about, Allison. Oh, there goes the butters. I told you butters might be chiming in. I told you. Hopefully he gets it out of his system before I actually start telling you something important. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> There's Dawn. Dawn's in the house. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Terry from Toronto. Hello, love. Hi, Denise. Denise is from Ontario. Butters is saying hi to all you lovely ladies. That's what she's doing. Hi, Lara. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Susan. Hey, Isabel. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> no, awesome. Hey, Lara. Hey, Karen. Exactly, Karen. You got it right. You got it right, my doll. That's exactly what I have. Butters is the breeder. <laughs> Good job, Suzanne. You guessed it, too. You guessed it, too, Suzanne. That's right. I have serious CRS going on. Hey, hey, Catherine. How you doing? Yes, Butters is churned up because my roommate decided at this very second to leave my house. This very second. He couldn't do it 10 minutes ago. He had to do it right now. So that's what happens. The dog gets excited because he decided to leave with his friend. So, anywho, I'm going to blame that one on the men. If any men are watching, I'm sorry, but I'm blaming that on the men. They, they Exactly when you tell them that you can't do something, that's when they do it. I don't have a painting to show you, Terry, because we are doing practice. We're doing clouds. So there is no painting to go by because we are going to be doing clouds. <laughs> exactly, Lisa. You got it. M-E-N. Anywho, I'm going to pour my paint. I literally just said to him, I'm going to be going live in five minutes. So what did he do? He had to come to the kitchen and make something. And then he had to leave with his friend, have his friend show up. So then, of course, Butters is greeting everybody. So welcome to my world. If you ever think of getting a renter, you might want to think about it twice. That's all I got to say. <laughs> it's so nice to have all you new fresh faces here tonight with me. And welcome to the family. Since this is going to be a how-to video, it's the initial one. So I'm so excited you all decided to join me on the premiere how-to video I have how-to video tonight is clouds, next week is trees, 
The week after that, we're going to do water. I'm going to do ones on mountains. I'm going to do ones on flowers. I'm going to do ones. I'm going to do how to's until I have nothing left to show you guys. So I hope you're, uh, I hope you're excited about that because I noticed a lot of people paints are blue, white, red, yellow, black, and black. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Yep, so the three primary colors, yellow, blue, and red, and then black and white. That's all you're going to need. That's all you'll ever need for any one of my parties. Ever, 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 ever. And since I'm going to be giving a lot of instructions tonight, there's not going to be any music. So, if you're wondering what paint I use, I use Blick Acrylic Student Grade Paint. So, that's what's in my painting kits. And that is what I use. Of course, give you got give yourselves some extra white, guys, because we're going to be doing clouds. And guess what? They're white. They are white. Yes, they are. They are white. So whatever you happen to want to practice on, you can practice on it. So I have my extra blob of white. I have my black, my blue, my red, my yellow, and my white. Some people are trying to join on. If anybody wants to go and help them out, if you see them like in the event page posting stuff, they don't realize it's on my page. Yes, it is, Suzanne. You can, all of my videos are available for replay. Always, always, always free to watch. Kind of, Darlene. Kind of the same. Kind of, kind of, kind of, a little bit. Hi, Iris. Hi, love. Gosh, I haven't seen you in so long. Clouds and snow are kind of, kind of the same concept, sort of, kind of. In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. And I already got myself with red paint. Yes, I did. Don't ask me how I wound up with red paint all over me. But that's how you know you're a true artist, when you get paint all over you. All right, so here's my canvas. It's blank. So what we're going to do is make sure you have your cup of water. And if you're going to clean a brush, you're going to swirl, tap, dab that brush. So I'm going to swirl, tap, dab. Dab on your paper towel in the shape of the bristles. Okay? So if you need to clean a brush, that's what I want you to do. And I'm going to clean off my big boy. He was my one inch flat. And I'm just going to put a background on here real quick. So we're just going to do a very simple blue and white background. Blue and white. And I'm going to go right across my canvas. So you want this to be a little bit of a darker blue so you can see your, your clouds across it. All right, so we're just going to throw some blue and white on here. I'm going to show you different clouds all over this canvas. And I'm going to show you like different... Um, different ways to do this and the first thing I'm going to show you is the easiest time to do a cloud is actually when your background is dry which means you have to move very quickly that's what that means Iris I've missed you so much uh, how are you and your sister-in-law I hope everything is well so if you do so you have to do your background and the best way to do a cloud is if your background is still on the wet side because you're going to pick up that blue from underneath and then this way you'll be able to do the shadows of your cloud without even trying and also say you have sunset colors if you do your clouds while your background is wet you will turn around and pick up those sunset colors that's great to hear so remember I mentioned the fluffies I'm going to use a medium fluffy so I'm going to scroll tap dab that so when you dab your brush you want your bristles to be wet but not dripping hold on one second come here butters come here Alrighty, 
So we took care of that. <laughs> we took care of that. You know what that is, ladies? That's God's way of telling me don't take myself too seriously. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Because I was trying to be all, like, serious and studious with all of you. Right? And that, and that was that was the man upstairs telling me don't take myself too seriously. So he's reminding me just to have fun. That's what that is. So he's like, oh. Kristen's being serious. I got to shake her up a little bit. I got to get her back to just having fun and relaxing. Because how many of you ladies have I told you the golden rule is to have fun, right? I've said that so many times to everybody. Hi, Megna. Hi, Sue. I'm glad you're just watching. So that's what happens, right? That's what happens. It's all good. Okay. So, I have my background. It's still kind of wet, even though I had to split. <laughs> you got that right. Got to enjoy ourselves. So, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. Look, beat up fluffy brush. The bristles are wet because I swirl tap dabbed it, but not dripping. When you grab your paint, this is key. When you grab your paint, you want to grab a small amount. And you are going to dip, dip, mash, mash, mash. <laughs> I hope it helps too, Katrina. I hope it helps too. You're going to smush, smush, smush it into your palette. So that white paint gets into your soft brush. See that? See how it's into the brush? But it's not a lot. Look, it's only on the tip of the brush. So the key is not a lot of paint. And another key is, is you want to think soft. Clouds are soft. So you want to think soft in the back of your head. All right. So you're going to start off with a fluffy brush. Your background's still a little wet. <laughs> hi, Megna. Everybody say hi to Megna. She's amazing. Your background's still wet. And on the side, I want you guys to have, this is another big boy that's still dry. So a dry brush, right? There's a lot of instructions here, okay? So you're going to do a simple background. You want to do this when that's still kind of wet. You're going to take a fluffy brush, put the smallest amount of paint on it, and mush it into the bristles. Small amount of paint. Hey, hey, Tracy. You want to have a brush on the side that is soft and dry. Doesn't Soft and dry. Okay? So once you do that, you're going to very simply, softly, swirl and if you notice as i swirl see how it's picking up the blue and if you also noticed i'm still swirling without grabbing any extra paint you see that so not um we're just watching magna you could just watch sweetie or some people are going to practice with me but this is a how-to so we're i'm just going to show you how to paint clouds it's all i'm going to do so now, once you have that, you can grab a little bit more white into that brush. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ashley. <laughs> so you can dip a little more white into that brush, right? So I'm just grabbing white and I'm just smushing it into my palette again. Did I clean the brush? No. Okay. So. Since my background was wet, this little formation of a cloud is going to be blue, a lighter blue. All right. Yes, we are, Magna. We're still having parties on Friday. Now I added a little more white to my brush again. And you want to come in and you just want to put the white soft. I'm hardly touching my canvas. You just want to put the white softly on the side where your light is coming from. So pick a side, it doesn't really matter. And you just wanna put all of these little pieces very soft of the white into your cloud. Okay, now, that's why I told you to keep this soft brush because once you're done doing that, you want to turn around and lightly, very, very lightly 
go over this and soften it out. So you can go very, very light. Now, if you wind up with a paint streak or something that's a little odd, don't stress it. Don't stress it, okay? So you just want to go over this and soften that out because everything's soft when it comes to clouds. Now, did I just soften most of it out and lose my white? This is a one inch flat brush. He's very soft. And my fluffy brush is a bristle brush. So it has stiff bristles and it gets very, very fluffy when you mash them all up, okay? So I'm using the fluffy brush to apply the paint and the soft brush to soften it out. All right, so then you just go back over again. So clouds like these, right, these nice big fluffy ones, are just a matter of having, when you do it while your background is wet, you don't have to worry about putting in the shadows. And then you just very lightly, very lightly put in these different sections of the white part. That's all you need to worry about. And then once you have that, you give it a little bit of a second so you don't wind up streaking all your paint. But you give it a little bit of a second and then you just soften that out. Because everything about clouds is soft. So you just soften that out. And you soften that out by like following the shape of the highlight you did. And you want the lightest touch possible. So that's all you have to do, guys, for this type of cloud. You just keep playing with that. Because, again, all I'm grabbing is white. And putting in the white right back where it was. And I am just using a small amount of paint. And I am making sure it is very, very soft on the edges. Soft, 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 soft. What do we have to make sure clouds are? What do we have to make sure we're doing with our hands? Soft. <laughs> Thank you, Katrina. <laughs> Thank you, Magna. <laughs> you guys are so cute. You guys can do this too. All right. So what did I just tell you, right? All right. I did. This is what I just did. Blue background. Make sure your background is still kind of wet. You take an old, yes, Jen, you got it, soft. <laughs> you take an beat up bristly brush, right? The more you mash it into the paper towel. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. The more you mash it into a paper towel, the more fluffy it'll get. You want to make sure you have a soft dry brush on standby to soften out your lines. Now, if you guys look up close at this, there's no hard lines in this at all. See how it's soft, even like around the edges? Like you don't even see that from far away. But see all the little soft strokes around the edges? That's what makes it natural. Us control freaks want nice, crisp edges all the time. Clouds don't have those. So if you're going to try to make these perfect, like I was trying to be perfect two seconds ago, and you know who reminded me not to take myself too seriously, you're going to drive yourself nuts. So you want to make sure everything stays soft. All right? So, ooh, so, Eve, I want to do, I want to do sunset clouds. Show me that cloud and a sunset. Okay. That's what I'll do. So if there's anything you guys want to see, I am here for you tonight. This is a complete practice session. So you can practice what I just did, but I am here completely 600% for you tonight. So if you have a question on how to do something, completely ask me, because this is the point. All right? So we're going to do the same exact thing, but with a sunset. So I'm going to swirl tap dab my big brush. I got two big brushes working here. I got my dry one. And I got my one that I'm doing the backgrounds with. All right, sunset, right? So how does the sunset start? We get a little bit of uh, white. Grab some white. Grab some yellow. Okay. 
Grab some white, grab some yellow. Grab some white, grab some red. All right, blend that into that. So how did I blend just now, right? I go a little bit above and a little into. That's how you blend. From above into the yellow, above into the yellow. All right, once I have that, I'm gonna grab some more white and more yellow. <laughs> Thanks for the spamming, Magna. <laughs> I see you spamming me. All right, I'm gonna grab some more white and some more yellow. Bam, sunset. All right, now, how do we do that cloud? Do you guys remember? I'm gonna swirl tap that, my fluffy brush. I'm gonna mash it on my paper towel to get it very, very fluffy. Schwa, fluffy. I'm gonna grab the smallest amount of white. I'm going to smash it into my palette. <laughs> All right, Magna. I don't know who was spamming me just then, but I love it. Keep the likes and everything going. All right, I'm going to smash it into my palette. I'm using a soft touch. You want to hold back here. You want to give. You want to let it wiggle. Okay, soft, soft touch. If you're holding your brush like this, all stiff, and you can't feel your fingers anymore, that's going to be problem okay Tracy um fluffy snow all right I can I can show you a little bit of snow but tonight's clouds <laughs> you want to make sure you're nice and I just hurt my hand stiffening it up like that you want to make sure unless you want carpal tunnel like real soon you want to keep this nice and soft all right so the next thing you do so what's the next thing we do right I just did circles all I did <laughs> exactly that's I was telling everybody don't press too hard and when you do these circles on your white paint it's already going to pick up the colors of your sunset because your background is still wet it is still wet and I'm using a fluffy brush to fluff this all out None of this is hard. I'm going very soft, and I am just pushing that white around. It's almost to the point of disappearing. So, what do you do if it's almost to the point of disappearing? You just grab a little more white. That's all. That's all you got to do. And I'm literally going in circles, <laughs> like my life. <laughs> I'm going in circles. That's what I'm doing. Okay? So, you want to just make sure you put those little white pieces on your highlights. And then let this dry for like two seconds. You got to let it dry a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to streak all your paint everywhere. So, let it dry for two seconds. And then we're going to soften it out. Tracy, you want to do fluffy snow piled up. Mine always looks flat. So, for fluffy snow... I use my fluffy brush. I don't even know if you can see this. So I just use my fluffy brush and you want to go very, very soft along the top of it. I don't even know if you can see that. I'll do it up here. So same thing like with the cloud. So here's my snow, right? You just want to go really soft and make your edges nice and soft. Everything's soft, 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 like the cloud. Soft, 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 soft. See, that's all. Just soft, soft, soft. That's all you do. Everything's soft. Same with the cloud. Soft, soft, soft. All right. So, we're going to let this dry a little bit. And I will show you a cloud. Do, 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 do. How do you guys want to see clouds? Do, do, do. <laughs> Everything is soft, Tracy. Look, see how soft? soft <laughs> all right so roll call everybody's still with me i have lisa jen Susie, allison Rini, heather karen dawn carrie denise lara and sue and darlene and kathy and lisa and Catherine, suzanne is isabel and another suzanne i hope everybody's still with me 
And uh, let's see what else can I show you. All right, so we're going to put, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to put another blue and white background on. And when I do that, this should be dry. Hi! <laughs> yeah, somebody's really spamming, right? So I'm going to put another blue and white background on. And we got to wait for this to dry, all right? Let it dry a little bit. So let's extend this one out. Okay, blue and white background. Here it comes. All right, so we're going to do another blue and white background right here. So I can show you some other stuff. All right, let's get that on there. Let's get that on there. Now, there's a thing that I do that I absolutely love to do, and it's a hard line cloud, which is really, 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 really fun, okay? And I don't even have to show you on the background because seeing it on the white will be better. So, I do a hard... Hi, Donna from Virginia. How you doing, sweetheart? How you doing? Yeah, this is our how-to, so no music, no picture. I'm just showing you how to make clouds. That's all we're doing. If there's something you'd like to see, let me know. Hey, Yenny, how you doing, love? How you doing? How you doing? So if there's something you guys would like to see, just let me know. So I'm just real tap dab in my big brush. And we're just going to make pretend there's a background here. All right? Because I'm going to show you my hard line clouds. I love to do these. <laughs> hey, Amanda from Kansas. Hello, sweetheart. How you doing? So, now, this goes against probably every rule of a cloud because they're not supposed to have hard edges. <laughs> but I like to have them have hard edges, all right? So, because sometimes I'm a control freak. So, I'm taking my big flat brush. I'm grabbing my white paint. And I'm going to grab some blue. Just the tiniest amount of blue with it. Okay, so I have white and blue just on the tip of my one inch flat brush. Let's see if I can angle this in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I just strong armed my easel. And what I do is I hold the brush perpendicular to the canvas. <laughs> Hi, Donna. How you doing, love? Donna from California. Yes, that's why I'm showing you guys what's up. All right, so a little white, a little bit of blue. I'm holding my... Now, this technique, if you can do this with your fingers, I call this the show me the money move. You know when people say show me the money? Right? If you can do that with your fingers, you can do that with your brush, all right? Because you want to make your brush spin. So you do the show me the money, and you make your brush spin. So you come on over... I make myself a line. I put the brush completely straight on to the canvas. And I spin my brush with my thumb. Like, show me the money. I spin my brush with my thumb. So this is how I make my hard edge clouds. I spin my brush with my thumb. Show me the money. Hey, Sharon, how you doing, sweetie? How you doing? We have a couple of Canada people on here tonight, so check it out. Check everybody out. All right, so I'm going to do, you grab white. You grab a little bit of blue. It's called the show me the money move, like this. You come over here, you have your line, you put your brush perpendicular to the canvas, straight on, and spin. And then, once you have that in, you can play with it a little bit. So, these are called... I'm going to be doing flowers, Amanda. I'm going to be doing flowers. Um, next week is going to be trees. Then I'm going to do water. And then I have... On the lineup, I'll have flowers, rocks, birds. I'm going to have all sorts of how-tos every Tuesday. Okay, you're so welcome, Tracy. Um, 
Every Tuesday, I'm going to do how-tos of a different subject. So tonight is clouds. So once you have those semicircles on there, you do the show me the money move again, and you just pile them on top of each other. That's all. And I usually add a little more white as I go. So I call these the show me the money clouds. They actually have hard edges. They actually have hard edges to them. And they probably go against every single rule of making clouds. Because they do have hard edges. And all I'm doing is layering these little, I guess you would call them push circles. But honestly, I'm just spinning my brush with that, with your thumb. That's all you're doing. If you could practice doing this, you can do so many things in painting. Just by spinning your brush. So... I like to make these hard edge clouds. I think they're a lot of fun. I think they look super duper cute. And all I'm doing is grabbing white and blue and doing the spin move. That's all I'm doing. Now, if you can't do the spin move, you could still do these. You just need to make a little horseshoe, that's all. You just go up and turn your brush around. They don't come out as good, but you can still do them. It's not that you can't. And then to finish that off, I just like to turn around and do a little bit of this on the bottom. And those are my clouds that like break every rule because they have a hard edge. <laughs> and you're not supposed to have hard edges on your clouds. But I love how these come out. They look, I don't know why, May probably because I'm a big rebel. That's probably why I like these. So those are what I call my hard edge clouds. And if you can learn the show me the money, <laughs> the show me the money move of spinning your brush around, you're golden. You got that. Okay? All right. So I'm going to put that in the water. And I'm going to come back to Mr. Sunset. Remember we were letting that dry a little bit? So what happens, since we put, got to get that phone taken care of there, Tracy. Since we put the layer of swirls down on the wet background, I'm telling you, with acrylic, the wet background does it all for you. Because it already put the colors of the sunset in your cloud. You don't have to play with it. You don't have to do anything special. All I did was take a fluffy brush and do swirls. That's it. Nice and soft. And just like that, your background is already in your cloud. Happy New Year, Trisha. And again, I'm just going to grab white paint. Smoosh it into my fluffy brush. Clean white paint. Smoosh it into my fluffy brush like I did before. And now that this is dry... I'm going to come in and do those really soft little pieces. So you just want to highlight a piece. And you want to leave it soft. Look, I barely touched it. So see how soft the edges are? See how color is still coming through that white? You don't want to lose that. And you want this to stay soft. And all I'm doing is literally taking that little bit of paint and very lightly... Brushing it on very lightly. So the key here is soft and a little bit of paint. And once you do this, you don't have to worry about getting your sunset colors. Raindrops? You want raindrops? I can show you a few raindrops. You don't have to worry about your, since they come out of clouds, I can, I can sneak those in here. <laughs> and since you did your background swirls already while your paint was wet, you don't have to worry. Oops, I picked up blue somewhere. I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> I don't know where the blue came from, but that's okay. That'll be a little shadow. We'll do a couple of shadows in blue here. 
So you don't have to worry about no mistakes in art, remember? You do not have to worry. You're so welcome, Sheila. You don't have to worry about putting those sunset colors in because you're doing it while your paint is wet. All right? And then we soften. So we soften. That's all. You just soften it out. And all I'm doing is following what I did. Following the lines of what I did. If you notice my brush, I'm following those lines of what I did. And I am just softening it out. So when you look super, super close, if I get my thumb out of the way, you can see it's all different and it's all fluffy. Alright? So, now, I'm going to show you do, 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 a dry background. Uh-oh, how do you do a dry background? Well, I'm going to show you guys. You ready? Is everybody ready? Thumbs up me, heart me, you guys with me. I know this is kind of teachy. It's teachy. It's a little teachery, whatever, but this is how you do it. So, <laughs> I hope I'm helping you. And somebody remind me to do those raindrops because I'm going to... Because I have that CRS. Remember, guys? <laughs> All right. Cool beans. You're still with me all? Thank you so much. All right. So how do we do it with a dry background? All right. So remember I painted this before. This is dry. Guess what? You do it pretty much the same way. All right. Cool, Amanda. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Magna. Everyone's giving me the thumbs up saying they're still with me, which is cool. You do it the same exact way. Except you have to add your own dark, okay? So, this is already dry, so if I put the paint on here, it's going to do nothing for me. So, on my palette, I am going to take a little bit of blue. Big blue glob, ghost, Magna, big blue bob, and I got red on me already, Magna too. I don't remember what red was. <laughs> so, I'm going to take my blue paint, and I'm going to take some of my white paint. Again, just on the tip of a brush, beat up old brush, and I'm going to go in, and again, hi Allison, oh I like that champagne for the new year, nice, nice, I like it, thank you Granzies, <laughs> that's such a cute little emoji, again, loose, loose in your hand, circular, and have it bounce around, like, you don't want to have, make a shape. See, the reason why people have a hard time with clouds is because it's completely random. So, you don't want, you know, like, I try to tell everybody to, like, go up, go down, go up, go down. And if you notice, I'm still pushing around that little bit of paint that I had before. I'm still pushing it around. You know why I'm still pushing it around? Because... Clouds are supposed to be soft, and the more you push this around, the more the color that's underneath is going to come through and give you the shadow. All right, if you notice, the more I'm pushing it around, the darker it's getting, right? And I didn't even put my brush. Yeah, that was a big glob, right, Vigna? And so, there. There. So now you had to make your shadow clouds. And again, extremely random. I tell people to go up, go down, go up, go down, the whole time doing swirls. Now that I have that, now I can grab more white. Right? White, mush, 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 into my brush. Light touch doing swirls like this. So you just swirl it like this. Wherever you want your light parts to be. Okay, so if the light's coming in from this way, you're going to do all of these. And again, notice they're fluffy. They're fluffy. That's why I call this brush fluffy, because he's fluffy. <laughs> so any fluffy brush you have, light touch. And you're just putting these in. And you just, so if your background is already dry, you just make the color of your background 
and you just put it in for yourself. And I'm going to go a little bit in the other direction. And you, you just put these in very random. And I'm just swirling and I'm using a light touch. That's all I'm doing. That is all I'm doing. Because these are going to need another layer. And that's okay. And I'm just going to soft. Now you could use the other brush to soften. You can, if this brush is all used up. So I'll get my other brush to soften, right? Right? Dry, soft brush. Follow what I did. If your paint's too thick on here, you're going to wind up pulling it and causing creases and paint marks. So if it's too thick, you can't do this. If this brush winds up making your paint pull, your paint was either too thick or too globby or not dry enough. All right, so going to grab white paint again. Soft, soft, soft. Okay, so I think you guys have the gist of these. I think you have the gist of these clouds, right? I think everybody's good with these clouds. I showed you the sunset ones. I showed you with the dry background. I showed you the hard edge ones. And I showed you the original one. Right? That was a huge glob of red. All right, so now I'm going to get into other brushes. Brushes that you might not necessarily lose. Wacha! Wacha! We got our fan brushes. So, the fan brush, shaped like a fan, and I just pulled the bristle out. <laughs> Basically the same exact thing. So you want to swirl tap dab your fan brush. All right? And my fan brush is very thin and very soft. And I'm going to turn around. And you're basically doing the same thing. So I'm going to grab my white paint. And you're going to put it on the edge. And you're going to wipe most of it off. So remember, light amount of paint. Light amount of paint. So the only difference a fan brush makes is, see all this where I had to do extra strokes? When you use the fan brush, it's just going to do those extra strokes for you. That's all. Remember when I was taking my my fluffy brush? When I was taking my fluffy brush and I was going like this and doing like three, four strokes at once to get the highlight? The fan brush just puts all those on at once. So it's just going to put all of those strokes on at once. See that? Instead of going with my fluffy brush, I can just hit it like once with my fan brush. And it's going to put all of that on at once. So again, you want to make sure your fan brush has a thin amount of paint. This one's kind of cheap of a cheaper brush I'm seeing here because see how it's doing that? They shouldn't do that. They said this brush is probably super, super cheap brush. <laughs> yep, it's a super cheap brush. <laughs> That's how you know if you have a good quality fan brush or a bad quality fan brush. It does something like this. It's not a good quality fan brush. Just to let you know. So, anywho. Let's get a better quality one. Here we go. He's super small, right? So, you want to make sure the paint is super thin on your brush. So, you, you dunk it in the white. And then you pull it along the side of your palette. And you come up here. And like this brush, I had to do a few times like this. The fan brush does it in one swoop. See? It does it in one swoop for me. And you can get different little angles from it. So, it basically just makes it a little quicker for you. And you can have like different edges. But it's really not doing anything different that Fluffy was doing for me. And you got to be careful when using your fan brush because they're so much fun to use. And they do so much in so little time. Notice I'm fluffing and mashing and fluffing. Notice that? I'm fluffing and mashing. I'm pushing the paint around. So even though I put that highlight in there, I'm fluffing and mashing around it to soften it out. 
So, you got to be careful with the fan brush, though, because they're fun to use, and you might just go overboard. <laughs> oh, no, Kim, I'm right here. Don't lose me. Don't lose me, hon. So, you might just go overboard and wind up losing all that awesome stuff that was underneath. Okay? So, you got to make sure you don't play too much. Fan brush. Okay? All right. So... Covered the fan brush, covered the fluffy brush, covered the hard stroke, and we got Lisa. I'm going to do roll call. It's roll call time. We got Lisa Jens. I, this is one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> we got Lisa Jens, Susie, Allison, Rini, Heather, Karen, Dawn, Terry, Denise, Larry, Yenny's in the house, Amanda, Sharon, Donna, Sue, Darlene, Kathy, Lisa, Catherine, Suzanne, Isabel, Susan, and Megna, don't forget the rain. Good, good, good look, Susan. Good looks. Thank you so much. All right, raindrops. Drop my whole phone. I dropped my whole phone on raindrops. <laughs> Let's make raindrops come out of these these clouds over here. How do we do rain, people? All right. Remember that fan brush I was telling you about? Renee, it's not Rini. It's Renee. I'm sorry, love. Ask Megna how long it took me to get her name right. <laughs> All right. See this dark cloud we got going over here? Remember that fan brush I just showed you? All right. So, when you do rain, I'm just going to do rain, first of all. I'll do rain. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. Yeah, I'm, I'm the biggest name killer you ever want to meet. <laughs> it took me months, right, Megna? So, you want to make sure your paint is nice and loose. If it's not loose, you're just going to have a problem. That's what you're going to have. <laughs> right, Trisha? So, we're going to go to this cloud. And I'm just going to show you rain. So, see that fan brush I had before? I'm just putting white paint right on the tip. And I'm wiping it off. I'm wiping off the majority of it. And I want to do a little back and forth with my brush. Okay, just to get it on each individual bristle. Again, we're going to do light, light, light touch. I'm holding back here. I'm going to move my hand, not the brush, because rain comes down straight. So my hand, not the brush. And this is how a waterfall works too, guys, okay? So right up to the cloud, move my hand, not the brush. Soft, 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 soft touch. Move my hand, not the brush, and just pull. Just pull. An extremely soft touch. Now, paint brushes are not markers. The harder you press them, it's going to mess up what you're trying to do. You have to refill them with paint. So that is rain. You can also do waterfalls. I'm going to do something like that with waterfalls. <laughs> it looks cool, right, Allison? So that's my fan brush. The white paint just on the tip. I wiggled my brush a little bit to get the paint into those things. Bristles, that's what they're called. And I'm holding the brush back here. I'm perfectly straight on in my canvas. Light touch, move your arm, not the brush, and you'll be able to go straight down. And if it's globby up where the cloud is, just soften it out. You just soften it out. All right, so that is rain. Or waterfall, or whatever you want. And I'm talking a lot, so I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna go get my soda. And we're going to let the butters back in, too. We're going to let the butters back in. So. All right. So everybody's practicing. Everyone's doing good. Everyone's got this. Everyone's going to 
going to save where this video is and watch the replay. <laughs> so if you're doing a painting with a cloud. All right, what else did I want to show you? Yes, trees are next week. Trees are next week. So think of all the different trees you want me to do. Another thing you can do with this fan brush. I will do a raindrop, I promise. Another thing you can do with this fan brush. And you can do it with that fluffy brush too. Now again, white paint just on the tip. And I'm going to grab a little bit of black. And dragons are coming. That's going to be on Fridays. I'm going to grab the smallest amount of black. And I'm going to make a grayish cloud here. All right, grayish, grayish color. All right, so you can turn around. Storm clouds, that's right. So dark grayish color. And I'm just going to go back and forth like that. So I'm doing this on a dry background. Now, with the fan brush, you'll get very, very thin lines. All right? And that takes forever. <laughs> Thanks, Yenny. Thank you. So I'm going to go to fluffy because the fan brush takes forever. Oh, good, Allison. I hope you have a lot of fun with that. So I'm going to take, take out my fluffy because that was with the fan brush. And you'll get smaller lines going across. And see how fluffy and light I left them? All right. So. <laughs> Thanks, Vegna. So. I'm going to grab that fluffy with the white like I did before. And a small amount of black. Very little black paint. Very, very little. And a little bit of paint on my brush. And we're just going to go back and forth. Again, light, light, light touch. Notice I'm moving my arm, not the brush. So you get it going straight across. Because storm clouds just take over the sky. And their edges, you just ed end it anywhere you want to. And this brush, having the, the fan brush and this brush, having all the colors in there, will make these. And once you have that gray, you just want to go lighter and lighter in your colors. And you're going to jump around so you don't lose all that dark gray. So you want to make sure you have a light, 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 light amount of paint. And a light, light, light amount of touch. And you just put these layers in. And you don't want to cover up the gray behind it. And you, you don't want to grab that much white. So that's how you do storm clouds. See the softness in there? So everything's soft. Alrighty, and since I have this, I want to show you the palette knife. So with the palette knife, obviously you need a flat palette, but I don't have one, so not at my disposal. So I'm going to grab paint on the edge of my knife, okay, and you want to make sure it's a thin roll of paint. Now that takes practice just as it is to get a small amount of paint on the edge of your knife. All right, so on my palette, I just put it here, and then I just grabbed a little tiny bit, make sure it was on the edge. So you could come into any surface here, and with the palette knife, you're just going to go across. It's the same thing. Move your hand, not the knife. And when you go across, you want to do a zigzag zoom. That's it. I'm just zigzagging and zooming. Now notice, when you start off, you're pretty straight on. You're straight on to the canvas with your knife. You're straight on like this. Like, well, you can't see it because my arm's in the way. But you're straight on, like straight on, perpendicular. And then you could start tilting it down. All right, so I'm straight on like this. 
And that's going to cut like the thin lines. And as you tilt it down, you're going to get the thicker lines. And you just want to zigzag zoom. You're just going to zigzag zoom. That's all you're going to do. And again, you want to spread the paint out nice and thin. And you can see the effect it gives you. It's pretty cool. And then you could go in with your dry brush, follow the direction very soft and soften that all out. And then it becomes more realistic because clouds are soft, even storm clouds. Okay, so that's how you do storm clouds with the palette knife all right i'm gonna do a raindrop and then you guys let me know if there's anything you want to see i didn't show you all right because if there's anything you want to see that i didn't show you now is the time to tell me because this video is going to be wrapping up soon thanks for sharing my event magna i really appreciate that so this friday we're going to do a landscape i figured i'd throw a landscape at you guys and I have lots of people requesting different parties. So, one rain or a drop are coming up. So, I got Tiny. I call him Tiny. He is a very, very small round brush. This one is actually a number. I can't even see it because I'm getting old. Uh, one. is a number one. He's number one. <laughs> All right, again... You want to make sure your paint's nice and fluid. So if it's starting to glob up, just add a little bit of water to it. Right? And I'm going to turn around and add a little bit of blue to make this light blue color. And then you want to roll your brush in your paint. Roll your brush. Roll your brush and make sure you have a nice fine point. You want to make sure you have a point. Always check your brush for the point. If you don't have a point, if you have globs on your brush, you're going to get globs on your painting. So, here's my cloud. Alright, so what's a raindrop look like? A raindrop is like a teardrop, right? So, first thing you want to do is do a base color. Right, so make yourself a little teardrop, fill that in. So that was a light blue or gray. You're not going to start off with the white. You're going to make a base color. It's a light blue or gray. And then, scroll tap to add my brush. Things that are see-through are quite difficult, just to let you know. I'm going to do a very simple raindrop. So once you have that, you want to add some shadow lines to it. So I'm just grabbing straight blue. Again, check your tip. Make sure it's nice and thin. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go inside there, and I'm just going to put some shadow in it. So you just want to have that follow around the outer edge. Okay. Okay. Put a little bit of shadow. Makes it a little see-through. Right? Then, I'm going to wipe off my brush. And I'm going to grab some white. And I'm going to put a little highlight into it. On the other side. So, I'm going to put that along the bottom edge like that. And I'm going to work it into the top up here. And then I'm going to put a little bit here. So... And then I'm going to put one right in the middle like that. So this is a very basic, very simple raindrop. If you want to learn how to make the ones that are like glass looking, um, just YouTube how to paint glass. I'll, I'm going to be honest with you right now. I am not very good at painting glass. I'm not very good at painting. I, I, do I know how? Yes. Am I an expert? No. 
<laughs> so that is a raindrop though. So, okay, so I'll show you again. What did I do? I'll make it, I'll make it like too big. This way you guys can see what I did. All right. So I got a little bit of, of a grayish. So it's white, a little bit of black, and a little bit of blue on my brush. Make sure I have a point. I rolled my brush. You're welcome, Amanda. And I want to do a teardrop. Okay? So you just do a teardrop. And you can fill that in. Now, you don't have to fill it in to where you can't see through it. If you can see through it, that's probably even better. Then I'm grabbing just blue to put a shadow. Right, just blue, and you're gonna put a shadow. You're gonna put a shadow in there. And then I'm gonna grab just white and I'm gonna put the highlight. <laughs> so you wanna put like a highlight here, a highlight there. One in the center. Now, I should have waited for this to dry to put the white on it, but I didn't because I was being impatient. But anyway, you get the general idea. So, <laughs> is there anything else you guys would like to see? Because I think I covered pretty much what you can practice with. Um, I did the straight across clouds. We did the firm edges, but then you finished, you know, you, you know, on the bottoms of these clouds, you can do, um, so here, let me go back in and I'll, I'll finish our sunset cloud. Let me find my fluffy. All right. So fluff, 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 fluff. Yeah. You can do the rain with the fluffy too. Look. So if I do a fluffy and then I mash it out, beat up old bristly brush. Very, very light, light touch. You can do the, the rain with the fluffy too, see? Right out of the rain cloud. I have water is scheduled. Water is scheduled for ba, 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 after the trees. Two weeks. Water is in two weeks. So as you're finishing up these clouds, remember if your background is dry, you have to do your puffy stuff. <laughs> it's very technical, right? Your puffy stuff. <laughs> you have to do that first in the color, in the colors of the background. Okay? If your background is wet, it's super easy to do this. You want to make sure you're going soft and light, no matter what shape you're doing. And say you finish this off. If you want to finish off the bottom, you can very easily... Just cut flat across. If you want to add darker shadows, I didn't show you that. Just grab, I'm going to grab red and yellow because that's going to be the color. So if you want to add a darker shadow, say you went totally nuts and you added too much white to this because we're crazy like that. You just do the same thing with your brush except with the darker color. Okay, whether it's going to be blue, whether it's going to be gray, whether it's going to be your sunset, whatever. Say you went too crazy with your white. You just take your darker color and you go in behind your arch. And you just fill it in. And you do the same exact thing. And you just want to make sure that you're staying soft and fluffy. And you can use the dry brush to fluff this out when you're done. So you can add a shadow. And I'm going to soften it out. I'm going to soften it out. And then once I add my shadow, bye, Magna. I'll see you later, sweetie. So once you have your shadow colors in, then you can go back with your white and just do the highlight. So just play, have fun. As long as you keep it soft and try not to get it very strict. Like I said, if you wanna do um, 
If your background's wet, it makes life a, 10 times easier. If it is not, you just do your first initial fluffies. That's a shade lighter than your background. Then go in with the white. You're so welcome, Sue. You guys are so welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am uh, really, 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 really happy to meet you all. I'll do another roll call. We got Lisa and Jen and Susie and Allison and Renee. Renee is there. And Heather and Karen and Dawn and Tara. You got a few Karens and Denise and Lara and Yenny and Amanda and Sharon and Donna and Sue. Darlene, Kathy, Lisa, Catherine, Suzanne, 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 and Isabel. <laughs> and Sheila, you're so welcome. Thank you. Look, my friend got me a little sign for my gratuities. Isn't it adorable? So, <laughs> I told her I'd use it. <laughs> you're welcome, Lisa. You're welcome, Sheila. You are so welcome. You're welcome, Yenny. Lara, you are welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my How To Tuesday and it's free to watch tips and gratuities are always appreciated and um i just want to thank everybody so this is eve eve's creations paint party thank you for the love tonight thank you for joining my initial how to i'm glad you learned a lot denise you're welcome judy if there's anything you ever guys want to see if you have a question feel free to message me through my business page um Buy any any time uh, any party Friday nights are the paint parties at seven. Tuesdays are going to be the how tos at seven. I know they're a little teachery, but I just try to show you what I know. And if you ever have any questions, ask me. If there's anything you ever want to see, let me know. And um, so next Tuesday is going to be trees. We're doing tree. I don't know how to make myself look like a tree. I just look. Like I'm having a conniption. But anyway, thanks, Denise. I'll see you Friday. You're welcome, Allison. I'll see you next time, Yenny. And um, I think I did my spiel. I think I'm good. I just want everybody to go create. Thank you, Jen. Thank you so much. Um, I have Venmo. I have PayPal. Uh, the links are on the event page, and I can share the link right on here. So I can do that. I can hit buttons. I can share the link right on here. Do, 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 if I can find it. Here we go. There's all the links. So I have Cash App. Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Dawn, for joining me. Thank you, Jen. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And, um, like I said, if you guys ever have any questions, I hope this really, really helped you. I hope that you learned some things. I tried not to get too technical. I showed you some really cool stuff, stuff that I think you can do. I want you to go create. And number one, of course, I want you to have fun. So that is the important thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I think for the first... Um, the first how-to event, think we did pretty well, fam. So thank you. Thanks so much, family. Bye, Suzanne. Thank you for joining me. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, Renee. <laughs> You're so welcome, Kathy. Bye, Renee. I got it right. <laughs> Bye, Denise. Thank you. Welcome to the fam, guys. Can't wait to see you again soon. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts and love. Absolutely. You know, he's... He, okay, guys, you ready? So all of that chaos before, all that chaos before that we had, right, with uh, you-know-who, check it out. He's sleeping. He's all cozy in his cage after uh, after acting like, like a nutball. See? Look. <laughs> so he makes all that noise. And now he's going to go to sleep. <laughs> he wore himself out. <laughs> oh.
Oh my goodness, he wore himself out. That's too, too, too funny. Hmm. Remember, <laughs> remember, soft, 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 fluffy, fluffy edges. Unless you're doing the um, the hard circle ones, the show me the money clouds. <laughs> right, Allison? He totally wore himself out. The nutball. <laughs> if you're looking for gesso, it's G-E-S-S-O. Um, if you want to, I'm um, doing a lot of these how-tos. You can get yourself a canvas pad like I showed in the beginning. If any of you ever need any supplies, I do have the paint kits available. They're the exact brushes I use for my Friday night parties, the exact paint I use and palette I use. There's an easel in there, canvas bag to hold it all in, a palette in there. So you can check that out. That is on my business site. I also put that on the event page. So if you guys are, uh, need a one-stop shop for doing a paint party, you have enough paint in there probably to do about four paintings. So they're three ounce tubes. It's a lot of paint. And uh, just don't, when you're buying paint, guys, make sure you pay attention to the sizes. Because 0.47 is this big. All right? Three to four ounces, like what's in the kit, is, is this big. I wouldn't gesso the paint paper unless you're just doing a little section. Because um, it's not firm. So it could crack. It could crack, Renee. I wouldn't just so the paint paper. I mean, if it's just a small spot you want to cover up, then just do that with white paint. You're fine, you know, if you're covering up a mistake or something. But if you want to reuse it, um, I wouldn't personally because it's not something that's firm, but you might be able to get away with it. Try it. If it doesn't work, then you know it doesn't work. You know, try it, paint something on it, see what happens. If it doesn't work for you, then you know it doesn't work. I've only gessoed canvas because it's already firm. And don't forget, next week I'll do trees. So... On the event, hit me up with which I'm going to do a birch tree. I'm going to do uh, a tree for all seasons. I'm going to show you how to do twigs and limbs and make it proportional. A lot of my saved paint parties already have trees explained in them. So if you want to watch one of those. And don't forget, this Friday is going to be Winter Peach. Look how pretty. So that's this Friday. Look. There's our puffy clouds right there. Now you know how to do them. There you go. <laughs> oh, and anybody watching the replay, thank you so much. Anybody watching the replay. So, thank you guys very, very much for watching my initial how-to. I hope you have a great evening, and I hope you have fun, and go create. All right? You have a good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you.